Hey everyone, welcome to your workout Wednesday. We were having technical difficulties yesterday, so our apologies for the inconvenience. Hopefully everybody is doing well, everyone's staying safe. Um, I'm super happy to be here again. Another great week, another great workout. Um, for this workout, you're gonna need a couple of towels. These are, these are just washcloths that I have. We're gonna be using them uh, as some sliders for the workout that we're gonna do today. So if you want to grab a couple of washcloths or a couple of dish, dish towels, even paper plates would work. Um, if you wanna grab a couple of those now, that's all we'll need for this workout. And uh, another tip that I wanted to share with you guys about a quick, easy way to kind of get a routine set in your schedule. Um, find some type of sport or some type of activity that you have to physically engage in, like tennis, basketball, um, hiking, kayaking. Yesterday I went kayaking for five hours. It was a 10 mile stretch of the Rio Grande, which was absolutely amazing. And I was with a couple of friends and my partner, so that was awesome. And I was just thinking like, it's such a good way <clears throat> to get movement and activity into your week. If you have an activity that you can share with a friend or share with a family member like this and you guys look forward to it and you uh, meet up multiple times a week and engage in a sport that you like or an outdoor activity that you like with a friend and before you know it, all of a sudden you're doing some type of physical uh, workout two or three times a week without even knowing it and enjoying it and looking forward to it. So I challenge you to find an activity if you don't already have one and then find an activity buddy that you can share um, a schedule with that you have similar schedules with and schedule a couple times every week just to meet up and get that body moving with a friend. So I hope that helps some people. Um, all right, so hopefully you have your washcloths now. We're gonna warm up first. So we'll put these to the side. We're gonna do some Frankensteins. The Frankenstein is your opposite hand, opposite foot, meeting and touching at the top. We're gonna do 10 of those in three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're going to touch our feet diagonally, letting that back arm come up opposite sides. We're going to do 10 of these as well. In three, two, and one. One. Let me back up a little bit so you can see my feet. There it goes. So nice and wide in the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Arm circles forward for 10 in three, two, and one. One, two, really trying to get a good range of motion. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna go backwards for 10. One, pretend like you're in the pool and you're doing your backstroke. Four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight, and 10. Let's do the elbows outward and then we're gonna do inward for 10. So outward for 10 in three, two, and one. One, two, it's like wax on, wax off. Some of you might be too young for that. You don't know the movie Karate Kid. Those of us who do know what I'm talking about. Two more, one, and other way. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do wrists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now that we are warmed up, grab some water. Grab <clears throat> your washcloths. So for this, particular movement, we're going to use one washcloth. So 
So we're going to put the washcloth on the floor. You're going to want some type of flooring that is um, able to slide on because we're going to be sliding on these washcloths today. So if you're not on a floor where you're sliding on, try to find one maybe in the kitchen usually is where there's some smooth flooring, um, but it will not work on a carpet. So you're going to want to find a place in the house <clears throat> that is smooth. The first movement that we're going to do is our lower body. Remember, we're doing lower body, upper body, and core in every single workout Wednesday. And again, as always, make sure that you're working within the body's ability for that day. You don't need to overexert yourself. Just let the body give what it can give for that day. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but pay attention to the body in every movement and really allow it to um, kind of fit into that day. We don't want any injuries. So the first movement, our toe is gonna be on the washcloth, not the whole foot. So it'll just be the toe that's on the washcloth. We're gonna go back into a lunge and then push with the foot that is not on the washcloth. So when I come back, you're gonna push really hard. Think about pushing the foot through the ground all the way up. So you can see here, down and up. We're gonna do 10 of these per leg. All right, let's go ahead and get at it. We've got 10 of these in three, two, and one. Back and up. Make sure the belly button's pulled in. Back, two, three, good job. Five more, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. So now that you've tried that, if this is something that is not comfortable for you or you don't like not having the control of the slide on that back foot, instead of sliding, what you can do is just step back. So instead of this, you can do that. So just a regular reverse lunge is what that would be. So if your body's not liking that movement, not having the control of the foot, and it's just sliding and you'd rather have that control, just don't, just dump the washcloth and you can do just a regular reverse lunge. All right, we're gonna do the other side. Remember, the toe is the only thing on the washcloth. The other leg is now the one that's pushing through the floor to come up. So we're gonna reverse and then up. One, two, make sure the core helps. Three, pull in that tummy. Four, whoops, five more. Count with me kiddos, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And 10, good job. All right, so this movement, we will need both washcloths for each foot. So we're gonna be in a plank position. We're gonna be face down doing mountain climbers with a push-up with the, the uh, washcloths. Again, if you try this movement and you prefer not to do it with the washcloths, you are more than welcome to. When we get into the push-up part of this, you can drop to the knees if you need to, um, to do the push-up, and then uh, come back up into that plank position so that we can get the mountain climbers in. So if you wanna do this movement without the washcloths, without sliding, I'm gonna show you now. Give myself a little bit more room. I'll come here. All right, so mountain climbers, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And then a push-up. And with the washcloth, we're gonna do five reps of these. So we'll do these five times with the washcloths. We'll come down in a plank position. One, two, three, four, five. With the push-up or on the knees with your push-up. All right. Let's go ahead and get these push-ups done. <clears throat> we have five of these. Or, yes, we have five of these. Let's get them done in three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two more. Last 
last one. Oh, and done. Those are tough. Whew. Okay, good job. So that was upper body and core. We're gonna do a little movement that is only core, and then we'll do the whole set again. So the first movement was lower body, and that was your reverse lunges. Second movement is the push-up with the mountain climbers. That was for our upper body, a little bit of core, but that was basically for our upper body. And then we'll do another core one now. Ooh, let me get to my breath, those push-ups. We're not easy. Actually, you know, I'm gonna put my water over here. Okay. So now core. This is similar to the mountain climber kind of because we want to bring both of the knees into the chest. It's going to be in a plank again and we'll be bringing both of the knees into the chest and then both out. We're going to be doing 10 of these. Um, so again, if you prefer not to use the sliders, you have a couple of options. We're going to be in a plank position. This is why, that plank position is why we warm up our wrists, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna be in a plank position. And instead of tapping in or tapping out, for those mountain climbers, we're actually gonna jump in and out. So it'll look like this. One. That's what that will look like. If you will use your washcloths, we're gonna be sliding in and out, just like that. Let me show you. Toes are on the washcloths. In a plank position, we're going to bring the knees in and out. In and out. So we're going to do 10 of those, whatever you prefer, with or without the washcloths. Let's go ahead and get this done <coughs> in three, two, and one. One, two, of those grab some water catch your breath high five your family member if you've got some family with you working out hopefully you do high five yourself i'll high five you if you're by yourself Whew. grab some water all right okay so starting with the reverse lunges one washcloth is all we'll need. Remember, if you don't want to do this movement with the washcloth, you're more than welcome to just do a reverse lunge. We're going to do 10 per leg. All right, y'all, let's get this done in three, two, and one. Coming back and pushing through that foot in the front. Two, three, it's like ice skating, four, five, good job, use those arms, six, seven, you got this guys, you got this, come on, eight, two more, one more, and switch, good job, other leg, ten on this side, in three, two, and one, reverse, and push, Good. Push that foot through the floor. Four. Five. Six. Almost there. Keep counting. Seven. Come on, aunties and uncles. Eight. Cousins, sisters. Two more. And ten. Good job. Nice work. Mountain climbers with the push up. This one is difficult. That's how you know it's working good, right? Okay, we're gonna do our mountain climbers. Remember, we're doing five and then a push up. Okay, five of these. Let's go ahead and get these done 
in three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five. movement are our knee tucks. We have 10 of them. If you're not using your washcloth, you're going to jump in and back. All right, let's go ahead and get the core part of this workout done in three, two, and one. Both feet in and out. Three, four, five. Try to keep the knees together. Six, when you bring them in. Eight. And ten. Good. All right. Lots of water. Remember, you want to drink, the FDA suggests to drink half of what you weigh in ounces. So for an easy calculation, if you're 100 pounds, you're gonna want to drink 50 ounces of water every day. Um, that's what the FDA suggests. It helps get toxins out of the body. It also helps uh, keeping yourself hydrated. Um, people who work out, if they're not hydrated, your performance will go down. You have to have an accurate amount of hydration, especially in New Mexico, now that it's getting warmer. Um, we sweat more in the south compared to up north. So we lose more sodium, we lose more minerals, we lose more stuff like that. So you do wanna get water with those electrolytes um, in them to help replenish all of the stuff that we lose when we sweat. I am pouring. I don't know if you can see that. All right, get a breath. Drink some water. High five everybody. We're gonna do one more round of these and then we're gonna switch it up. So one more round of the reverse lunges. One towel is all we need, 10 per side. Toes gonna to be on top of the towel. <clears throat> Shoulders back, belly button is pulled in. Just a slight tug of the belly button to the spine is all we need for activation. So belly button pulled in. We're gonna come down for 10 on this leg. In three, two, and one, reaching back. And pushing up nice and always reset always bring the body up so when we come down we don't want to stay bent we want to bring the body all the way up all right this is three four five push through that front foot seven eight two more nine last one and good. Swap. Other foot now. Doing 10 on this side. Shoulders back, belly button in. In three, two, and one. Coming back. <clears throat> Driving up. One, two, three. One push up five times. Okay, guys, here we go. In three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Almost 
ten, guys, one more. Don't quit on me now. And five. Whew. Take a break from being in that plank position. Stand or lean nail if you need to. Give those legs a break before we get into our knee tucks. Whew. All right, coming back down. Back into that plank position, guys. And we're gonna bring both feet into the chest at the same time. If you're not using the towels, then you can jump in or tap in and then jump or tap out. Let's go ahead and get these done. We have 10 of these in three, two, and one. Bringing the knees together, two, three, four. Here we go, five more. just finish those three movements in that round we have another three movements coming up if you've noticed from the first couple of times that we started doing the workout Wednesdays the movements have increasingly been more challenging let me grab some water so in the beginning we were doing a lot of conditioning movements this is a lot more strengthening movements for the body. So if you've noticed that they're getting more difficult, it's because they are. It's not because of you at all. It's the program is actually just getting a little bit more challenging so that the body continues to respond to what we're doing with it. But your kicking butt, I always say half of the battle is showing up and you're already here. You should be very proud of yourself. I'm very proud of you. Okay. One towel for these, we've done these in the past. So we've done lateral lunges. If you want to do this movement without a towel, you can do a lateral lunge like this. So it'll be nice and wide. You're gonna do 10 per side. So the hip's gonna go back and you're gonna push with the foot that you're going towards. That'll be a lateral lunge, 10 per side. If you're gonna use your washcloth, foot is going to be on the washcloth. Make sure it's just the toe though, not the whole foot, just the toe. Similar to what I was just showed, except the foot without the washcloth is going to be the foot that you push through. So this is going to slide, your hips are going to go back, and the foot that does not have the washcloth is going to drive up. Remember always to drive through the heel of the foot because all of our muscle is on the back part of the leg. We have our calf and then our hamstring and then our glutes. If we push through the front of the foot, then we have basically just the shin. You don't really get into any uh, real muscle until after the knee. So the body has to go through the whole part, front part of the leg until you get to the knee to find muscle for that power. So push through the heel of the foot always. That's where your, that's where your muscle is. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 set reps of these per leg. We're gonna slide out and slide back in, pushing with the foot that's not on the towel. Make sure that toe is on the towel. Shoulder back in, belly button pulled in. In three, two, and one. Coming down and up, nice. Push, two. Really sink into these. Three, four, good. You should feel the pull on the inside of the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch. So now we'll be pushing on the other leg. That's not with the towel. We've got ten on this side. In three, two, and one. Out. And push up. time. Breathe with these. Five more. Six. Seven. Always reset. Over. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Nice. 
nice work. All right. We're going to do some upper body movements now. So we're gonna have our feet directly under our hips. I believe we've done these in the past. These are inchworms. So whenever we come down, we're gonna come down, we're gonna walk out. We're gonna do some taps. Three, four, five taps when, when we're in a plank position. And then we're gonna walk backwards towards our feet. When we're walking backwards towards our feet, push with the palm of your hand on the floor. Really push with, that's gonna make that shoulder blade engage and work through that movement. So lots of shoulder in this movement, okay? Feet directly under us. We will not need the towels for this movement. Feet directly under us. We're gonna do five of these. I'm gonna show you first. So we're gonna come down, walk out into a plank, tap for five, and then walk back, really pushing through the palm of the hand. All right, we have five of these. Let's go ahead and get these done in three, two, and one, here we go. Down, walk, walk, walk. Make sure you're squeezing your quads and your glutes when you're in a plank position so that you don't wobble your hips. So tap, two, three, four, five, and push. All right, four more. Coming down, plank, tap. leg flutters. So just like a little flutter of our legs, we're going to kick about six inches off of the ground. If you need to, you can put your hands underneath your hips to help with any hip pain that you might have. And I'll turn this way. So I put my hands under my hips and then my feet will be about six inches off the ground and then I'm going to flutter. We're going to flutter for 20 reps, so I'll count out loud. All right, let's go ahead and get this done in three, two, and one. Right underneath the hips. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 12, 13, 14, five more, six, and 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, if bringing your feet off of the ground for the six inches, um, is uncomfortable or it hurts at all, instead of keeping your feet off the ground, you can keep, you can keep one foot on and then replace and alternate. Just like that. All right. So we're going to do those three movements, two more sets. So we're going to do our, I'm sorry, we'll do one more set. Um, because I actually want to show you a really good stretch with those washcloths. So we'll do one more set of those. We're going to do our lateral lunges for the lower body. We're going to do our inchworms for our upper body, and then those flutters for the core. So let's get our washcloths. We only need one for the second half. All right, guys, this is the last couple of minutes of work. I know you can do it. We're at the very end. Kiddos, don't let your family give up now. We're at the very, very end. This is where we push through for a really strong finish, okay? Let's get this strong finish done. Here we go. Shoulders back, belly button in. Remember, if you don't want to use a towel, you can just do the lateral lunge. With the towel, we're going to slide that uh, leg out. Let's get this done in three, two, and one. We're going to do 10. There's one, two, three, Four. Five more. Come on, we got this. Four. Three. Come on, come on. Last two, last two. 
last two, you got this kiddos, you got this aunties, uncles, grandmas, everybody that's there. All right, let's switch. All of the family, we've all got this. All right, 10 more on the other side. Let's get the left side done in three, two, and one. Pushing and up. Nice, nice. Here we go. Don't quit on me now. We got four left. One. Last two. Three. And four. Nice. Put that washcloth away. You are done with the washcloths for now. Inchworms to our shoulder taps and then walk back ups. We have five of these. All right, guys. It's time to warm it out. Let's go in three. Two and one. Walk it out, walk it out. Tap, tap, squeeze in those legs. Five and push. That's one. Walk it out, walk it out, inch it out, inch it out. Here we go for two. Push, push, push. Two more. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Yay. All right, for this one, remember, if it's uncomfortable for you to keep up your legs lifted off of the ground. Just put one on the ground and lift the other and switch, okay? We have 20 of these. Let's get this set done in three, two, and one. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Good work today. Hardest part is showing up. You guys showed up and you kicked butt. I appreciate it. Showing up every week. Doing the thing you know you need to. All right, let's stretch a little bit. I'm going to show you a couple of really awesome ways to stretch with a towel. If you have a towel that is too short, um, after the workout, you can grab a, a longer one. So you can grab the towel around your foot. So what you're gonna do, let me explain what that looks like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie on the ground. Turn to the side so you can see better. Lie on the ground, both feet are gonna be out. We're gonna bring one foot up, wrap the washcloth around the foot, and you can hold that washcloth here to stretch the hamstring. this side and if you don't have enough flexibility to grab the washcloth that you have just get a bigger dish towel and you'll be able to grab it all right taking a deep breath in we're gonna bend the knee open up the hip and then extend the leg out holding on to that washcloth Relax the foot. And you want to hold these for about 30 seconds. And then switch. I'm going to show you the other one. So we're going to bend the knee back in. Bring the um, knee over the body again. And then we're actually going to rotate the leg over the body, trying to keep that opposite, sh opposite shoulder on the ground. And then we can extend. Let me show you on the other side so you can see a little bit better. So, washcloth goes over. We're going to bend the knee, bring it over the body. You'll swap hands here and then out. And this is a really great stretch for the hamstrings, the lower back. Really, really great stretch. 
and you can come up. Cross your legs. You can go over. We can stretch this way with our towel. Similar to us grabbing our wrists and pulling. And then stretching and grabbing over. And then I'll show you one more. You'll need a door handle for this one. Let me see where can I show you a door handle? Let's see. There we go. So you'll get a door handle and you'll lean down. Let me see. Put it down a little bit. There you go. Door handle and you'll lean down and you'll let your head relax through the arms. And that's a really, really great stretch for your shoulders and your upper back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. You guys kicked butt as always. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much again to the coalition for having me every week. Super blessed to be here. Everybody, please stay safe. Um, and I will see you next week. Take care of each other. Bye.